If you're watching this, it's very likely you've at least heard of the ESP32 line of microcontrollers. These are really low cost modules that feature a relatively powerful integrated microprocessor built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability with an integrated antenna on top of a number of other peripheral interfaces. As a result, they're an excellent platform to tinker with and also do some serious development work. Today, we're taking a look at an ESP32 CAM board that we'll use as a wireless web server. We'll walk through how to program the ESP32 using the Arduino IDE and launch a sample program that's available for download. As always, I'll include links for all the software and files used here. So the first step is to download the Arduino IDE if you don't already have it installed. And while we wait for that, I'll mention that the main purpose of this video is really to introduce ESP32 with the camera uh, to set us up for more interesting projects in the future. For now, I'm content to get it programmed and run a simple demonstration. But of course, you can imagine how this module could be used for a host of different projects like a doorbell camera, or even for embedded machine learning applications like object detection and recognition. I think we'll have lots of fun working with this. Once the Arduino IDE is fully installed and running, we'll need to specify a URL path for finding the available ESP board configurations. Go to the File menu option under Preferences and click the button for the additional Boards Manager URLs. Then paste in the URL location of the ESP32 boards from Espressif. Of course, the path will be included in the video description. Now, under the Tools File menu option, you'll go to the Boards Manager and then search for ESP32 by Espressif and select Install. And you can see it's processing. It does take a while to complete, but we're speeding this up through video ed editing magic. And now we can load the sample code that's freely available. In this case, we're getting the code from Freenove and using the camera web server sketch. You'll want to select the correct ESP32 board. In this case, it's the ESP32 Rover. Now looking at the first several lines of code, you will want to replace the SSID and password fields with your local Wi-Fi um, SSID and password. Now try plugging in the ESP32 uh, via USB. It'll power up and you'll see LEDs flashing indicating that it's alive. Now you want to go back and uh, compile the code to check for any errors and then upload the program to the board itself. And this does take some time. Now that the firmware is uploaded to the board, open the serial monitor and set the appropriate baud rate, 115,200 in this case. Now press the reset button on the ESP32 board to reboot the module and you'll see a message on the monitor indicating the IP address of the device. Copy the IP address and paste it into your browser URL box uh, on a computer uh, connected to your local Wi-Fi. And sure enough, you'll see output from the ESP32 camera. The quality and frame rate aren't fantastic, but will likely suit most people's needs. I plan on experimenting with the board further and creating another video in the future where we can build some useful devices around it. 
well that's it for now until next time have fun tinkering